Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Dylan, Space Cadet Crypto, and welcome to another episode. We're going to be updating on the Shiba token, the Shiba Inu token. So if this interests you, remember to like and subscribe, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out any important info. We're going to be talking about the price. We're also going to be talking about updates to Shiba Swap, and is it almost complete? Because we do have a couple of things leading to Shiba Swap being complete very soon. Could it be true? Let's dump right in. Okay, so our first piece of news here is that Shaitoshi Kusama, and if you don't know who Shaitoshi Kusama is, it says here he is the project manager for the SHIB token, and he is very active right now on the Discord page for the Shiba token, and he did say here, after someone commented, better spend time on the Shiba swap platform, they commented, it is complete and working right now. I'm collecting tokens on test networks right now. Hashtag multitasking. So... This could be our clue into ShibaSwap being released very soon, hopefully this month. But as you know, I am a skeptical investor with any coin that I see and I'm looking at and I'm researching. I don't really care about the words per se, but I want to see action. I want to see that ShibaSwap is actually up and running. But we do see here that Shaitoshi is still updating, saying that it is, very, it is complete and working right now and they are collecting tokens on the test networks as we speak. So this could be very interesting news here that we do see that Shiba Swap is complete, but we just have to wait for the grand unveiling for the Shiba token. And there's also another feature that we were talking about on this channel for a while now about burning tokens. And a lot of people actually have been burning tokens themselves and sending it to burn wallets or to be burned dead wallets and like we saw Vitalik do, we are seeing multiple people here on their platform, on the Reddit page, trying to burn their own tokens to decrease that circulating supply of the Shiba tokens. As you know, 40% was burned. And now we are still around 400 trillion tokens of the Shiba Inu token that are still circulating right now. And people are <laughs> taking it into their own hands to burn their own tokens. I personally would not do that because I would not want to burn my own money, but a lot of people are looking at this as a cause of decreasing the circulating supply and also increasing the price, which I do understand. And we do see that Shaitoshi is also talking about in this Discord message saying, okay, so how much of 2 million coins should I burn to participate in this big social? And it just cuts off right there. But Shaitoshi responded, this is very important here, I'm not burning any ship. But I have an idea. I'm going to have them implement it since everyone wants a burn so bad. So he's talking about implementing a burning method into Shiba Swap. And like I was saying before, in their wolf paper or their white paper, and if you don't know what a white paper is, once an ICO is happening, so initial coin offering, when a coin first starts up, it has a white paper or a document that includes an outline of the coin itself, how it works, and here, in some cases, if it does have utility case, a problem that the project is trying to solve and the solution for that problem as well. And it usually comes in the form of an introduction, table con uh, contents, description of the market and the problem, tokens, how, many, why, how, when, and so on. So the roadmap is basically on this white paper. And we did go into detail about how it did not have a token burning implementation for ShibaSwap or the Shiba token. But as we see here, they are trying to implement it into ShibaSwap since everyone is wanting to burn the Shiba tokens very, very badly to decrease that circulating supply and increase the price. So this is very interesting to see here. If this happens or not, I will keep you posted here on this channel. So remember, turn on bell notifications. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be covering it here on this channel. But this is very interesting to see. What do you think? Uh, comment down below. What do you think? Do you think Shiba Swap is going to have that burning implementation that they did not put on their white paper yet? Or do you think they're not going to do that now and people are still going to continue to burn their own tokens? Because as you can see here, people are burning their tokens and they're posting out here. The burns are working. Another 90,000 coins are burned and gone. And they have the transaction right here. Ether scan. People are seeing that this total supply is declining. And someone here posted how to actually burn your own tokens on etherscan by writing a contract to burn the token so a lot of people are very very aggressive with their token burning of their own tokens because they do want that circulating supply to go down 
But why don't we jump into the price action and see what is actually going on? I talked about this symmetrical triangle that has been forming and that Bitcoin has been forming the same triangle along with a lot of other altcoins. We are in a critical moment. So let's jump in and see what Shiba is doing right now. Okay, at the time of this recording, Shiba token is trading at 0.000094 dollars, and we are still in this critical area of consolidation between these blue boxes right here of my resistance box and support box. So we are trading still in this critical area here. We've been consolidating here for the last couple of weeks now, and we are very, very close. We did retouch this area yet again, and now it is the big moment of truth. Are we going to use this as support, this descending resistance here? Are we going to use it as support and launch further? Or are we going to get rejected yet again with these huge wicks to the upside? Meaning that the price went all the way up here, but then ended up closing the candle down here, got pushed down by the bears. And so are we going to get rejected yet again and come back down to retest this lower area of support? And if we do that, there's going to be a very high likely chance that we might come back down here, get rejected, and follow this pattern through because this symmetrical triangle, if it's coming from an area of a downtrend right here, coming from an area of a downtrend, consolidating, then it is more likely to continue that trend because these are called continuation patterns, meaning that they are continuing whichever trend they are forming. If it comes from a forward trend of moving upwards then it's going to continue that trend upwards but right now we are seeing it is coming from a falling trend here the price is getting lower and lower so moment of truth is very very close we do see if we zoom in here that our price target has been perfectly rejected from this descending resistance right here we found a wick to this upside right here where we did hit that 0 0.00001 area, which has been huge psychological resistance. As we see here, many multiple rejections. Same here as well. We've been getting rejected from this golden pocket, which are these two yellow lines that I got right here. This is the golden pocket, and it is very, very strong resistance. As we can see here, so much resistance has been here in the last couple days from these two weeks. But what we are seeing as well is if we look here on the RSI, I drew this white line right here down the middle of the RSI. We've been trading above it when we're in bull trends, meaning that we're going up in price. And once we started breaking down here, if I zoom out, you can also see where the price is correlating to with the price here. So we saw this move to the downside right here. And that's when we started trading below this white line in the middle, which is if you're trading above the white line, this means that you're in a bull trend. If you're trading below the white line, the middle part of the RSI, then you are in a continual downtrend. And what did we just do here? These last couple of days here, towards the end of May and the beginning of June, we are starting to finally trade above this white line that we haven't done in, oof, in uh, the middle of May. Pretty much the middle of May, where we had that nice bounce here. Uh, right here, we found a bounce right there. That's the first time we peeked our heads out here towards this middle part of this upper trend, but now got rejected and started just trading lower and lower and lower until now we're starting to consolidate above this middle RSI line, meaning that we are starting an actual bull trend here. So we have to stay above this RSI level here to trade in these oversold regions. Once we actually break through this dotted line, like we did here previously, this is where we started trading in those oversold or overbought regions, meaning that the price was more valued than it actually was. The price was actually higher than the value. And we are setting up to actually trade in that region, which means we are going to continually make higher price targets. So that is very interesting to see as well that we are starting to trade above this, this middle line here. So be on the lookout for that but we are also getting rejected from this descending resistance. So we have to, maybe if we come down here and get rejected, find this as support right here, where we found as previous resistance. Cause look, oh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Just on the price action, this is the six hourly candles. We did see the price broke up here, could not hold this line in the sand, fell back down here, but now we're starting to trade above it. So we could come back down for this retest at the eight, nine level to come back up, get that momentum to retest this huge resistance of the golden pocket. But I'm going to be covering it 
right here on this channel let's also look at our moving average as well to see some more dynamic resistance that's coming in our way because we are facing a lot of resistance here that's why it's very very critical for the price right now i know the price seems kind of boring because we've been trading within this range for such a long time and it seems like the price is not doing anything but it actually is and it's very important these are the times where you either want to look to see where the support is and the resistance because a big move is coming very very soon let's look at our moving averages we are still staying above this yellow line our 21 day moving average so that's good to see we could come back down here right where this yellow line is coming back up to find that more support in this region and we are starting to see it just a little bit we are getting this orange line as support as well but we are getting squeezed with this yellow uh descending resistance as well so the price can make a move either way in a very short amount of time here in the next day or so and we also see our red 200 day moving average is also acting as nice support here for this blue box and that's very confluent with the blue box as support as well meaning that multiple signals are showing me that this is an area to look at right here look red line as support and also blue box as support so very strong support here at the 7 1 region down here to the 6 2 region but we are looking at a red candle right now we have two hours and 59 minutes left before we close the six hourly candle so if we close below it we could come back down here and retest this area this line right here but if we hold above it we are more likely to come up and retest here this area of resistance but that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it thank you so much i just reached 8,000 subscribers so i'm very very grateful to all of you that are enjoying this i'm so glad i'm giving out some information to those that need it but that is it for me peace out